I had to purchase this on my vacation because the bag I brought was too small. And I think this was probably about $3. <clears throat> and this beautiful bag, which I am in love with. Um, this happy face, um, PVC looking uh, bag. And this was $1.50. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, but oh well, oh well. Um, I found this hat. Uh, it has like a black and white pinstripe to it. It has a feather. This actually, I've seen this. Oh, there we go. I've seen this brand before. It's not actually a brand. It's made by an individual um, couple or a person. And uh, I know that it retails for quite a lot of money. And it was $3. So I thought that was kind of cool. found this at a flea market for one dollar. So I picked that up. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Found these ghost pajama bottoms and these were two dollars. This Madsen uh, graphic tee. Love the graphic on it. And this was dollars this Metallica shirt for $2.50 and these um, liquid black tar kind of leggings um, and these were three dollars uh, what else what else I found um, these Halloween little goody things. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to use them for. They were 99 cents for a pack of six. And they came in skulls too. Um, so I did buy, I don't know what I'm going to use them for. But I gave one away. And I guess I'll do my jewelry. And then I'll finish it off with my favorite piece. So... I found probably two of my favorite pieces. Well, one definitely of my favorite piece. This double brooch um, spider. One of them is missing a leg. Uh, this one is missing a leg, but that's okay. It's so cool. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. I posted it in a picture. Um, I found these crystal necklaces, and these were $2 each. I purchased just a bunch of random pieces of jewelry. It really depends on the mood I'm in <laughs> that determines what I buy. Um, but definitely if it's 80s looking, I, I pick it up. So I picked up this brooch. Picked up this fun brooch. And these were anywhere between two to four dollars, let's say. Picked up these earrings. This holographic cat pin. These shiny earrings. This little skull guy. Um I picked up a, a bag of, uh, actually a couple bags of pins and it had some, well, some of them had some pretty cool things in them. So I got this Ren and Stimpy pin. I'm just going to put them back in this bag. Um, use Energy Safely pin. Smurf pin. And a couple of Bart Simpson pins. And Simpsons pins. And 
and I was at a flea market and he had seven pins for one dollar and I picked up um, just whatever I could find that was somewhat cool. I did find these really cool ones. House Tricks and it's got a little witch on it with a frog. Found two of those. And then just some other random kind of pins. Um, I went to a flea market um, on my way back from my vacation. It was an outdoor kind of antique flea market and um, it was way too hot for me to really stay since I didn't have any sunblock on. So I um, only briefly looked around and purchased um, six pins for $4. So there's uh, Madonna, Desperately Seeking Susan, um, Aha, Joan, Jack and Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Tears for Fears, Pretenders, and Mr. Mister. Also thrifted this necklace. And this whole bag of um, holographic happy face ear, um, rings, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with. But it was like $2, so I thought, hey, why not? Um, okay, so I guess I'm just going to show you this item, which I purchased a while back. And it's a Ronald McDonald stationery set. And it has a copyright on it of uh, 1984. It was everything was still new in the package. Um, I paid way too much for it, but I do like Ronald McDonald. So now I'm going to show you the last item, and I'm going to say that this is a thrift item simply because it's secondhand. Uh, someone was selling a bunch of stuff, and my sister knew that I was looking for this, so she picked it up for me. Um, I did pay $20 for it, but I think it's worth it. You, it's hard to find them. So I found this Monster High coffin jewelry box. And if you've never seen it, it comes up like this. And you've got you put your jewelry in here and in the top. I just haven't put any jewelry in it because I'm deciding um, what to do with it. Someone had suggested removing the pink like a painting where the pink is, um, which I'm very pro because I, I'm not really a pink kind of girl. And I'm also thinking about removing the um, curtain. So I still have to decide what I'm going to do with it, but um, that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope this didn't bore you too much. Sorry it took so long. I'm really going to make an effort to make videos more regularly at least every couple weeks if not every week um and that way i don't have like a 25 minute video um which i'm sure for some of you might be boring uh it's not for me but <laughs> it's probably boring for you so thank you for watching and please feel free to like and comment subscribe if you're not already a subscriber I'd like to thank all the people that have recently subscribed. I'm over 600 subscribers, which is amazing to me. Um, when I first started YouTube a long time ago, I didn't think anyone was going to watch my videos because uh, I'm not really a in front of the person, in front of the camera type of person. Uh, I've never been. So, uh, just so you know, it takes a lot for me to get in front of the camera and present these items to you. But I just love thrifting. I love all the great things that you can find and I'm just gonna get up for so you can see me uh, yeah so thank you for watching and like I said feel free to like and comment and if you're wondering who's playing in the background that is the Morrissey Viva Hate CD thank you for watching bye